Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. Are you guys feeling that? I am definitely feeling that. Uh, it's been a, it feels like it's been about 50 weeks in one week. I don't know about you. And I kind of feel like it's this um, roller coaster of craziness that just keeps on happening. And I guess like one of the things that, that I've really noticed is the importance of, I guess like we've got the importance of celebrating, right? Which you guys know that I'm always, I'm always on about that. So what I thought would be really helpful for you guys today is to, as you're coming on, share what you're celebrating, talk about what's really great in your world. Because Here's what happens, like it's really easy to get caught up in the, the downside of stuff if, when things are not working, when it feels like things are not working, when actually what we've got to get really, really good at doing and actually get a hell of a lot better at doing is celebrating and patting ourselves on the back for all of the steps, be it big, small or otherwise, that you're taking in the progression of where it is that you are going. So for instance, um, as you would be aware, unless you've been living under a rock, is that I have unleashed or received the copies of my very new book, which I'm really, really excited about, um, Into the Spotlight. And What's really interesting about this, and I think that this is this is something that happens for, for a lot of us, is that we, we kind of do something, we finish it, and then we're really excellent, at, particularly when you're uh, like a high achiever or a high performer, it's kind of like, all right, you know, what's next? What's next? What's next? I've got this on the thing. I've got this on the thing. Okay, I've, you know, tick that box. I've gone that. I've done that. That's really great. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? And we forget, well, I know I'm guilty of this, we forget how much time, effort, energy goes into actually creating the thing that you put, that you put together. So for instance, this book, you know, I, I wrote the plan. Hey, Carmen, I wrote the plan for Into the Spotlight. I started writing that in November 2019. I finished writing the plan in about May 2019 and it just kind of sat there in my cupboard and it was just uh, through happenstance actually towards the end of uh, towards the end of last year I reckon it might have been around August September the fabulous Joe Muirhead and I were discussing how ridiculous it is that we don't get to see each other as often as we would like. So we're like, all right, we're gonna do a retreat in, like we'll do our own retreat. We're gonna do a retreat in Melbourne and then we'll do a retreat in Sydney together and we'll just spend the spend two or three days in a hotel, staying together, working on whatever it is that we we're gonna work on and we talked about writing our next books together. And I think we had something planned towards the end of last year but we couldn't make it happen and then her husband, John, was diagnosed, and so he went through treatment, and then as you'd be aware, Joe was diagnosed. So all of our plans for doing these things together went completely out the window. And so I was like, all right, well, I, I've got, you know, I've, I've got to get this book written, and I was introduced in January. I was actually chatting to my publicist who was asking me what my plans were for Visible and that, that he'd been talking to a publisher. Hey dad, he'd been talking to a publisher who was interested in picking up the book Visible. And I'm just going, oh yeah, that sounds really exciting. You know, I don't, I don't know what that even means, but you know, that sounds really awesome. And he said, oh, and I, and I actually went back and I said, well, my plan is to write another book uh, in 2020. And um, like, so that was, we had that conversation and then next minute she's, they picked up into the spotlight, they they were interested in doing Visible again, doing a, a revised edition of Visible. And, you know, I guess like to me, it's like, because I finished writing Into the Spotlight in May, it, that feels like with, with everything that's happened this year, it feels like it is so long ago, right? Um, and even though there's been, you know, communication and everything, which has been really awesome. But one of the problems is, I think, is it ties in with this, this constant looking for the next shiny thing, looking for the new shiny thing, and not 
acknowledging how fucking awesome the thing is that you've actually just completed and just done. So I had this moment yesterday where I'm, can you pass me your book, please, Jay? Where I had, I don't know what I was expecting, but this book, thanks, bud, is like, it's come out so good. It's so thick. Like I knew it was way bigger than what I, I thought it was. Uh, that, that than what the original, than what um, Visible was going to be. But I was like, oh my God, this is really, like, this is really fucking awesome. And I, I don't know. It's like, I know that I'd, had I, had I not had a reason to talk to you guys about it, like, it kind of makes me wonder if, you know, what I would have done if I would have celebrated it as much, if it, if it hadn't, I mean, been done through a publisher, if I'd just done it myself or whatever. Um, it's just kind of really curious, the amount of effort that goes in. And then I was also thinking this morning about how much time I've spent on the on the launch of it. So I, I put the link in there. If you'd, if you'd love to buy a copy, I would love to get you a copy and, and give you a, a bonus copy um, into your mailbox so you can gift it to somebody else. You'll just email me and let me know about that. Um, but it took me ages to get the, to get the, the, there's a, a website, there's a web page rather that's got all of the resources for Into the Spotlight in it, which has got the interviews and there's an audio and, um, there's, what else? There's, there's worksheets and there's so much because I know if you read this, that's one thing. I know if you read this and do the work in it, you will make more money. You will reach more people. You will be seen as a, as a rock star in your industry. You will be seen as the expert in your industry. Without, without any doubt, I know that you will be able to do that 100%. Not a, not a doubt in my body. And so I, I, I spent a lot of time creating the resources and making them ready for all of that as well. And I kind of forgot about that until I was thinking, about the workbook that kind of comes that, that comes with this, and then I also needed to build the page which you've got access to in the in the link for you to be able to get your buy one get one free things and the free course option and and all of that kind of stuff. And it was just that type of thing where I was like, I, I had to take a minute to go. Actually, like this is the culmination of active eighteen months worth of work. Uh, an active eight eight months worth of work, and I mean, there's been a, there's been times where I haven't had to do anything on it because my publisher's been doing stuff or my designer's been doing stuff. But it's an active eight eight months um, worth of, of time has gone into that. And I guess what I'd like to challenge you to do is to take a look at what you've been working on and it's really easy to kind of go oh yeah but i haven't finished that yet or like i've just got to do this thing and i mean like i've got my planner this week is like full of all of the things to do and there's heaps of stuff in here that i haven't gotten to and that i haven't done if i'm completely honest because i i underestimated how long it would take me to do some of this tech stuff to make this available for you but i would challenge you to, to have a look at what have you actually achieved and done and how are you measuring your sense of achievement? Because if you have a look at it, if you've done a live stream this week, if you've written a blog this week, if you've been present on social media this week, if you've seen clients this week, if you've been actively getting out there and helping people this week, if you've been building plans this week, if you've been writing a book this week, if you've been getting your content ready, if you've been working with people, if you've been doing any of that, they are all really huge achievements. And I think rather than just going, oh yeah, you know, and, and I'm really good at this. I go, oh yeah, it's just, it's just part of what I do. You know, it's just, it's just like, it's, it's, it's just normal that we do this. It, it's not normal. What we do is not normal. The, the level that we operate, and I include you in that weeness, it's, it's not a normal by the rest of the comparison of what everybody else does. So I very much strongly encourage you and challenge you today to look at what you've achieved, celebrate the shit out of it, and go and post on your pages something that you're really proud of, something that you've gone, you know what, I, I achieved this and I did this against all odds, you know, in, in, a, in a clusterfuck of a week, let's be blunt. 
in Victoria this week, particularly in Australia, it's just been, it's, you know, for, for you to get through this week is a huge achievement. For you to still have your wits about you, even if it's only up until midday today or whatever, that is a huge achievement. Uh, and, you know, I'm just really, really grateful that you are out there doing the work that you do, helping the people that you're helping because they really freaking need it. So well done to you. Now, if you're happy to share in here what you're celebrating, I would even love that. I would love that even more. So if what I wanted to leave you with today are a couple of things. If you would love your very own copy of Into the Spotlight, you can go to nicolamorass.com.au forward slash ITS for Spotlight. Launch, ITS, launch and grab yourself a copy. It is buy one, get one free. Make sure you please follow the instructions because Booktopia are not going to send you your own, your two copies for one. They will not do that. Um, so make sure you follow the instructions in there and I'd love to get that out. If you want the mug, there's limited quantities of that. If you want the workbook bundle, you can see how to do that as well. Um, I think that's all I needed to let you know. I'll oh, save the date for the 21st of August. I've got an invitation on my list to create and get out for you so that we can do a proper official launch of the book. Um, I'm really excited to do that with you. So have an amazing day. Happy Friday. And remember, it's time for you to get yourself out there, go help some people, have a whole ton of fun doing it, and for you to remember that the world is ready for your brand of awesome. I will see you on Monday, if not before. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. Bye-bye.